eyes to the hills. Yes. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, pray. who made heaven and earth. Let us pray, Abinu Malkainu, our Father, our King. Yes. It is once again that we come before you, dear Lord, in the presence yes. of your holy name. Lord, Lord, we thank you not only for this day, but for all the days past and the days yes. that will come. Amen. Lord, I ask that you pour out to your people yes. what you have poured into your servant today. Ooh, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Yes. Yes. Please increase as I decrease. Praise All the glory, God. honor, and praise belong to you, Lord. In the name of your precious son, Jesus the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. 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 All right. I'm going to get it under control here. <laughs> As some young folks might say, that's my jam. There you go. Because when you think of the words of what that song said. Mm -hmm. Amen. The message today is being thankful Amen. for God's grace and mercy. Being Amen. thankful. Praise for God's God. grace, and, you know, it means I am walking daily in thankfulness. Amen. Amen. You know how somebody uh, just celebrates Thanksgiving one day a year? Mm -hmm. Well, what happens to the rest of the 360 uh, days? You know, being, Amen. I'm walking in God's grace and mercy, and I'm thankful. Yes. Mm -hmm. And our scripture passage will be uh, in Luke, the seventh chapter verses 36 to 50, and we're going to walk through Luke chapter 7, verses 36 to 50, and we want to say Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Now, today, beloved, we will be referring to an unnamed woman in Luke 7, 36 to 50. But before we start, I, I, I want to mention that this account is also found in Matthew 26 and 6, mm -hmm. Mark 14 and 3, and John 11 and 2. But the account refers to Mary, the sister of Lazarus. So today, we're going to be speaking from the account in Luke the seventh chapter, Amen. verses 36 to 50. So I want you to walk with me. Everybody at Luke? Yes. In the Amen. New Testament? Yes. Right? Yes. Apostle Luke, chapter 7, verses 36 to 50. Beloved, is this not a glorious afternoon Amen. that the Lord Adonai has created for us? Mm -hmm. Yes. This afternoon, would you please spiritually, now I didn't say physically, because we can't do it physically, go back with me in time to the New Testament book of Luke, the seventh chapter, verses 36 to 50. And we are speaking about daily being thankful yes. for God's grace and mercy. Mm -hmm. And and unnamed woman who was so courageous and thankful in the way that she loved the Lord mm -hmm. and honored him. Mm -hmm. Now the scripture passage is entitled, A Sinful Woman Forgiven. Isn't it something when people try to label you? Yes. According to their own view? Amen. Now I will be reading from the ESV, the English Standard Version, but verse 36 to 40 begins as follows. One of the Pharisees asked him, meaning Jesus, to eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. Now in Jesus' time, when a person reclined at the table, this is a little side note, there was an air of relaxation, yeah. a demonstration of security and a conversation held in an easy manner, along with the fellowship that ensued. So the guests, they reclined, if you can spiritually imagine this, they reclined on their left side, 
supporting their head on their left elbow and leaving the right hand free to take the food. The scripture continues. And behold, a woman of the city who was a sinner, when she learned that he was reclining at table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment and standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and wipe them with the hair of her head and kissed his feet yes. and anointed them with the ointment. Let's pause here hmm. for just a minute. A little history of this is told by scholars who say that a young girl would be given this flask, jar, or box in some versions by her family when she reached marrying age. Then she would give it to her husband as a sign of commitment and devotion, somewhat like an inheritance mm. or dowry. The contents of oil, some versions say ointment or perfume, would be sealed, usually with a piece of lead, because this was an impressive present to give to anyone. Now, scripture does not tell us how this woman came into possession of this very expensive alabaster flask, but she had it and brought it to the Pharisee's house to use for Jesus mm. Christ. She stood behind Jesus at his feet. She was weeping, wetting his feet with her tears, wiping them with the hair of her head, kissing his feet and anointing his feet with ointment. The NIV version of the Bible reads that she poured perfume on Jesus. Saints, can you imagine mm. the look on their faces, especially the self-righteous Pharisee? Yes. You see, this woman was courageous and faithful, and she came to see Jesus. Yes. Now, the Pharisee's name was Simon, and he tried to say that if Jesus was all that, he should have known who this woman was and refused to let her even touch him. Hmm. But you see, Jesus already knew and had an answer for Simon. Amen. You know, oh, but the Pharisee did not know Jesus himself. And he had no understanding of how Jesus knew that his heavenly father loved his people and did not need their sacrifices to earn his favor. Or love. Are you with me? Yes. yes. Amen. Verse 39 continues. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him. Mm. For she is a sinner. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answering said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. Go and he ahead, answered, now. say it, teacher. So let's spiritually break this down. Come on. Ready for the breakdown Amen. here. You know, this begins with the description of the unnamed woman as sinful. As some versions say, she is described as immoral, a woman from the city and a sinner. And it would seem like her past life was well known in the city she lived in. Mm -hmm. And others were so quick to cast judgment upon her because of her questionable past. Mm. Amen? Amen? Amen. You know, can you spiritually imagine the condescending looks mm. and stares that she endured? Mm -hmm. She had learned of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, yes. coming to dine at the house of the Simon, the Pharisee. And she sought out the master for forgiveness and anointing as she demonstrated a true faith that even those around Jesus did not have. Mm. You see, let's talk about this Pharisee. Some would describe him as fair, you see. <laughs> he was on, a member. Now. He was a member of the three major influential Jewish sects and a scribe and a teacher of the law. But he was a legalist. 
in the tradition of the fathers mm -hmm. and not of the Bible. Yeah, you see, know. he was fair, you see. He had no clue about what Jesus came to Come do on now. for all people. Mm -hmm. Speak on it. And the Pharisees, as a group, they didn't like it when Jesus taught the lowest of the people. Mm. Because they believed that God accepted and blessed people based on their personal holiness, which this sinful woman had none. And I, I love Luke's version because this woman was a name, meaning huh, you could put Jackie's name in it. You could put somebody else's name Come in it. See, you see, this unnamed woman could be you or I or our brother or our sister. Amen. All right? So just look at this woman. She was without material wealth or status. Mm -hmm. But she had one precious gift hmm. that was of extraordinary value. Yes. Yes. She had an alabaster mm. glass box or jar. In ancient Egypt, alabaster jars were used as containers for ointment, perfume, and other cosmetic products. And its value was not only because of the cost, mm. but because of the way in which it was used. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you see, Jesus... When, when, when he saw the uh, resentment, because it was resentment, yes. and the reaction of the response to this woman, he, he took this moment to teach mm. an important lesson. Come on now. Through the use of this parable. You know, the parable is, is a heavenly uh, story, you know, a, a earthly story with yes. a heavenly meaning. Amen. And so here's the parable. Mm. We're going to finish verses now, 41 to 50. Boy. It reads, a certain money lender had two debtors. Mm -hmm. One owed 500 denarii, side note, which is about 20 months wages, or mm -hmm. $760 Woo. in today's time. And the other 50, which is about two months wages, or $75 in today's time. Now, when they could not pay, he canceled the debt of both. Mm. Now Jesus asked Simon, now which one of them will love him more? And Simon answered, the one I suppose for whom he canceled the larger debt. Mm. And he, Jesus, said to him, you have judged rightly. Then turning toward the woman, he said to Simon, do you see this woman? Mm. I entered your house. Come on. You now. gave me no water for Ooh, my feet. Come on. But she has wet my feet mm, with her on, tears Jesus. and Pray. wiped them with her hair. Amen. You gave me no kiss. Come on. But from the time I came in, she Ooh. has not ceased to kiss my feet. Praise God. You did not anoint <laughs> my come head with oil, Ooh. but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Praise Therefore, God. Therefore, God. I tell you, her sins, uh, Woo, which are on. many, Praise are God. forgiven, yes. for she loves yes. much. Praise God. But he who is forgiven little, loves little. Praise God. Come on. And he, Jesus, said to her, can you imagine the woman standing hmm. right here? Jesus he perfect. said to her, your sins are forgiven. Amen. You see, then those who were at the table with him began to say among themselves, who is this <laughs> who even forgives sins? They knew. And God. he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Praise God. Go in peace. Mm. Let us break these verses down. Are you Ooh, ready for the yes. breakdown? Say, yes. I'm ready break for the down. breakdown. Yes. Break break down. You down. see, Jesus already knew Simon's thoughts yes. in verse 39. And he answered him with a prophet's vision and understanding. Yes. The debt canceled is an analogy of our sins and debts canceled mm -hmm. because of the grace and mercy of God. Come on now. You see, this is why we have every reason to be thankful and grateful for God's grace and mercy Amen. daily, yes. just like this woman was. 
because of this woman's forgiveness in her life, she loved much. Yes. And, and Jesus compared yes. Simon's lack of hospitality to the larger debt owed. Come on. You know, those, those had to be in awe of who Jesus was and his significance. His grace yes. and mercy mm -hmm. is and was not based on a feeling, Come but on, a promise. Somebody Praise say God. a promise. Wow. A promise. Wow. Woo, thank based you, on a promise. You see, the woman experienced the forgiveness of yes. her sins yes. through her faith, Praise which God. was evident in the way that she honored mm. and loved Jesus. Yes. Her actions spoke volumes and the others had no excuse come on now they had no excuse jesus saw the forgiveness shining in her yes. and the alabaster flask could symbolize how we give god our best and our all yes. it can represent our lives and how they can become broken how be it when we yeah. surrender and recognize that we serve a holy God, Ooh, yes, that do. he is worthy praise of God. all our offerings, praise, glory, yes. and devotion. Praise Somebody God. say amen. 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 The God. gratitude, thankfulness, on, and now. humility. Yes. Yes. The humility in just kneeling, kneeling before Jesus. Yes. Oh, my God. And in a crowded room. Yeah. This was a crowded room because they came to see Jesus and see him even recline at the table yes. of this woman in her earnest desire to see the Savior was Praise so God. loving. And her will to show Jesus that he had forgiven her more yes. than anyone, Praise. someone say anyone, anyone. anyone, could know or imagine yes. was well received Praise. by the Master. Ooh. You see, yes. Jesus recognized the magnitude of her gift. Mm. Amen. Praise we can God. remember when uh, Jesus found us and saved us by our faith mm. with the magnitude gift of salvation. Mm. All our sins were forgiven. Yes. All our debts were paid. Praise you God. see, when this woman entered the door, the room grew still. Come she was so teary that she almost couldn't see. And she Ooh. heard the negative Praise whispers. God. And she felt the shame Speak of others it. upon her. However, she knew what she came to do. All right, she kept pressing before Jesus so that she could Praise show God. him her love and faith and pour praise Woo. on the Messiah. She didn't let the negativity Amen. in the room stop her positivity with praise. the Savior. Yes. You see, yes. we can't let yeah. anyone no. or anything stop our praise as well. You, Amen. Amen. Praise so God. in conclusion, Woo. praise God to the word from the Lord. You see, I remember how my life used to be mm -hmm. because I was a prisoner to the sin that had me bound Amen. and how Jesus entered my life and healed my soul with yeah. the wonder of his touch. So I am forever and eternally grateful to be a recipient of Thank God's you, grace Jesus. and mercy. Praise he is worthy God. of yes. my praise. He is worthy of Thank all you, glory Jesus. and yes. honor. He is the King of kings yes. and the Thank Lord of lords. Praise he God. is my redeemer yes. and my rock. You see, Ooh, you don't know the cost huh, of the oil Oh, in my own oh, alabaster Jesus, box and I don't oh, know yes. the cost of the oil in yes. yours you know I don't know what you have Ooh. in your alabaster jar you may have obedience to the Lord Praise in your God. alabaster jar on, you now. may have commitment uh, yes. to pursue his calling upon on, you now. unstoppable yes. faith Praise enduring God. and forever love for our savior Praise in your God. alabaster Master John, yes. you may have yes. the fruit of his yes. spirit on, and his covenantal Ooh, promises spirit. that he will not leave you Amen. nor forsake Amen. you, that yes. he will be with yes. you yeah. in the midst of the storm, yes. that he yes. will provide. He is Jehovah Jireh, you, and that all is well with Come your soul. Praise Jesus. God. Mm. Praise Jesus. Jesus. Pour daily oil on the Savior. Mm. 
by being thankful 365 days a year. Amen. Being grateful yes. for each new morning and walk in the blessings yes. of God. Jesus. You see, Jesus paid it all. Yes, he did. And all to him I owe. Sin had left the crimson stain. Mm. He washed it white as snow. Praise so I will God. continue to worship him and daily exist in the state of praise Amen. for my Lord, even when I am faced with heavy loads or Ooh. winding roads and faced with bumps or twists or long to do list. You see, I know someone who sticks closer to me than a brother yes. who was born of a virgin mother with a divine purpose uh, from his heavenly father yes. who walked this now. earth for 33 Ooh. years, was talked about, disrespected, suffered, bled, tortured, and crucified on the cross. Great. He died and was yes. buried yes. in a borrowed tomb, but, but yes. he didn't stay there. Amen. Amen. Behold, someone say behold. 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 On the third day, Woo. he got up with all power in his yes. hands. What's his name? Jesus. Jesus. The Alpha, Alpha, the Almighty, Almighty. Alpha and Omega, Arthur and Finisher of our faith. His name yes. is Jesus, Jesus, the Bread of Life, Faithful Jesus. and Praise True, God. Prince of Peace, yes. Master, yes. Mediator. His name is Jesus, Jesus. the Messiah, Savior, Deliverer, yes. Anointed by God, the Son of God, Emmanuel, yes. be with us. His name is Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, I am Father. forever thankful. Yes. I am forever grateful mm. for God's grace right. and mercy today and forevermore. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let the church say, Amen. 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 Give God a hand. Yes.